if you're good at whatever you do, people will give you business. You know, all you gotta do is say, hey, this is who I am, check out my stuff, and mm -hmm. people are gonna respond. If you suck, you're not gonna get anywhere. So yeah. learn how to use your camera. Do you ever wonder how people take those amazing shots from below the rim during an NBA game? Get close enough to the president to get a fist bump during his inauguration. Or capture unique moments of an artist during a concert. My name's Javier Mercedes, and I'm fascinated with the people and process behind the scenes of production. And today's Inner Wednesday is no exception. This is Alex Mateo, a freelance photographer. You can always find him draped in event passes and at least three cameras. If there's a big event, he's probably there, rain or sunshine. To give you a primer into Alex's photography, he recently retired his Canon 5D Mark II and traded up. But in the lifespan of that camera alone, he captured memorable moments from hundreds of concerts, celebrities, three Super Bowls, two World Series, and four NBA Finals. The man puts in work, and he has the work to show for it. Alex was kind enough to take a break from snapping photos during South by Southwest and sit down with me and talk about his passion for photography. So if you're interested in hearing his story, stay tuned and subscribe for weekly content like this. What's up, YouTube fam? Javier Mercedes here for another Inner Wednesday. It's an interview on a Wednesday, and who do I have with me right now? He's got cameras, he's got himself, he's got a beard. It's Alex Mateo. Thank What's you. What's up? Thanks for having me. Yeah. How did you get started in photography? When, uh, when was this? I, I can already tell you the exact moment I fell in really? love with the craft. My New York Knicks beat your hometown Indiana Pacers. Patrick Ewing got on the scores table and he stretched his arms out. Right? Mm -hmm. And that was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw it on TV, of course. A few weeks later, it was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the cover and I could relive that moment. I was like, wow. I could remember who was there with me, what I was doing, what I was wearing. I want to bring this back. I want to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. And you know, it took off from there. One of my subscribers actually wanted to ask you, so when you're underneath the basket taking photos, have you ever run into a moment where the players have hit you? Many times. <laughs> I actually have a shot of Larry Fitzgerald catching a touchdown, and about two steps later, he smacked me right in the lens. It was actually bent. Was it worth it? It was absolutely worth it, because I got the shot, so. Yeah. You know. If somebody is looking to get into the, on the sidelines, underneath the hoop, how did you get into that in the first place? It's really easy. Is you just really? gotta really just reach out to the right person and mm -hmm. say, you know, can I come in? And for the awards and stuff, it's actually room for press. Mm -hmm. So if you're established or at least know what you're doing, they usually know, they let you come in. If you have a big enough camera lens? No, the lens, that works for the games. So like, okay. dude, you know why I'm here, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just walk in. I remember last time I was in New York and I was talking to you about uh, when you're trying to do club gigs, you put the pancake lens on it. Oh, it's like a, it's a point and shoot. It's not yeah. a real yeah. lens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I usually uh, have a backpack and I hide, I'll hide the 7200 wrap it in a shirt or something, put it at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it works. That's it works. awesome. But you know, my motto is, if I can get in, I'm gonna do my thing. If I get past the door, past security, I don't need a photo pass. Just get me inside, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it happen. When it comes to getting your type of shot, how do you find something that's unique to you? I don't really concern myself with what everybody else is doing. I wanna capture the show the way I see it, so then when you see those photos, it kind of puts you back in that space. Mm -hmm. You really can't worry about what everybody else is doing. There's so many people out there. Do your own thing. Cool. What was your first camera? My first camera was a Canon Power Shot. It was like a brick. I'd buy Mets tickets. They were terrible, so the tickets were like four bucks a piece. I would get some good shots, because yeah. I was like right on the field. But I would look over and i see these guys with different cameras, and I was like, that's what I need to be doing. I quickly upgraded from my four megapixel power shot to an eight megapixel Rebel XT. And I got a 75-300, which was like a hundred bucks at the time. It's a game changer. It is. Yeah. Speaking of game changers, everything changed, and I got this baby here. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, this is a 400-2.8. Mm -hmm. It's great for football, you know. When you're taking photos on the field, mm -hmm. how do you anticipate something that like meets this focal length? Because ideally, you know, this is on a monopod. Action's coming towards me. I'll pick this baby up and I'll just shoot with this one at the same time and just hope for the best. And that usually works. That's awesome. I'm so happy with the Canon 7D, the OG 7D. It, like it gets the job done when you're spraying and praying. My problem with the 7D was that the focus would always slip. Oh, really? Yeah, I would lock on and it would just like reset and I'm just like... Yeah, but Mr. sitting over here with all these cameras. Well, you know, actually the 7D turned into, what is it, the 6D. Mm -hmm. This is my go-to for film. 
You know, speaking of film, this guy, 16K subscribers on YouTube. From what I've seen on your YouTube page, it's mostly while you're going to photograph these gigs, you might stop for one song and record them. Play That's the exactly what it is. Yeah. I've never taken that seriously until uh, I hit my first million views. I was like, wow, people watch these things. Was it Harry Styles? Harry uh, Styles. That video went absolutely viral really fast. I had no idea what was happening. Fun fact, I actually got to work with One Direction. I was doing house lights for them. And by house lights, that means I'm just the guy that turns the lights off right when the concert starts and I turn the lights on when the concert ends, that's it. What's interesting about that job is the amount of power you have. It's just music in the background, people are filtering in, and the moment you turn those lights off, everybody goes ballistic. Oh wow, I'm surprised they took the stage and they didn't really see him. You know that it's just like this red button that you just hit and it goes, they scream. You turn them on, show's over. <laughs> yeah, and everybody's like, oh no. I love your GoPro rig, the photos of you with the helmet on. So he'll be like snapping photos, but then he'll also do the concerts at the same time. So this is my new thing. So oh, a handle with a battery in it, so you oh, can charge really? on the go. So I just had it side by side. I just, you know. Just do that. Yeah, the rig you're speaking of, uh, it's got it here, the little head, head wrap. Love this thing. <laughs> Got it all. You know, it's a little tight right now. I haven't worked in a while. Or my head got bigger, I don't know. <laughs> Who's the most interesting person that you've gotten to work with? Beyonce was one of them. Really? One time I was shooting a Title X in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and Beyonce was like, she was being rushed off the carpet. That was at the end. And she looks at me and she stops the bodyguard. She's like, Are you done? Uh -huh. And I was like, Actually, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me get out the zoom. Let me get yeah. out the wide. I did. I, I, I switched back and forth like, oh, we gotta get this. And I said, thank you. She's like, I was That's like, awesome, wow. Man. Nicki Minaj is another. Because awesome. I actually met her before she got famous. Mm -hmm. So she always recognizes me. So That's if I see awesome. her somewhere, she gives me a good, you know, little VIP 30 second shoot. <laughs> right when you open up your page, one of them is Nicki Minaj. You kind of had the similar framing with one that you just posted. Amara artists. La Negra. Yeah, that photo was bomb. I was really struggling because the, the lighting, I was, I was the Empire Garage, the lighting is terrible. The way that her hair light is in, that it just, I love that when you're in concerts and then it hits them right and you're like, nope, lighting guy, just keep the moving light right there so I can get this nice hair light. Yeah, so I nice. actually try to time those. Mm -hmm. And during that sequence, she actually moved into the prime lighting area. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me move around a little bit, get a little more of the light, because uh, I was right in front of her, I think. So you can see like on her shoulder. Yep. So I was like, let me be over here. Mm -hmm. Got it. Boom. Tips and tricks, Alex McTeo. What's a horror story of just like, you went to an event and maybe a camera broke or something like that? Dude, that have, that's happened several times. Uh, <laughs> I've done like events where people spill Hennessy on my cameras. <laughs> no, it's not just any normal drink. It's like, oh no, it's, it's Hennessy. Yeah, Hennessy, it's, it's, really, it's really sticky. Yeah, yeah I it, can imagine. Jamie said you can just like, towel off and like move on, but Hennessy probably is cleaner. Yeah. The other one I wanted to ask about is the Obama photo. Really sweet shot of Obama during the inauguration going straight down the aisle. It's so nice. Yeah, that was that was an amazing day overall. Mm -hmm. I did politics because uh, you know I was just doing music and it was boring. Everybody was doing that. Yeah. So you know I just reached out to the White House and they were like, okay. Ba a background check later. Well, no, they, they actually do it um, on the phone. Oh, okay. They do they do a few of them, I'm sure. Okay. One time I showed up and they did it like outside the gate. They're like, don't move. And they, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know if I can explain their security layout, but it's like a yeah. fence and a, yeah. and a door, and they let you through one door and they lock the other one. So you're like you're you're, yeah, so you're in jail. So if you do have some bad mojo, yeah. you are no, you're not going anywhere. You're in jail for ten minutes yeah. getting inside. So it's just like, did I? It, ooh. <laughs> They wave you in, and then after that's pretty routine. If you could go back and tell yourself growing up, or just a young viewer out there that wants to break into the kind of photos that you're taking and the kind of um, events and other things like that, what would you tell them? All right, most importantly, master your craft. Uh, these cameras, they have a lot of new add-ons and digital things that you don't really need. Learn how to master your aperture, your shutter speed, and your ISO. Learn the fundamentals, and you can do whatever you want. Very important also, Time your shots. Don't just uh, hit the button. Got to get a feel for what you, what's going on. That's really the best advice I can give. Because mm -hmm. if you can do, if you know, if you're good at whatever you do, people will give you business. Yeah. So good. learn how to use your camera. Blunt to the point. Where can people find you? 
Uh, I am on Instagram at Shots by Mateo. If I'm in Austin, you can find me at Gordo's. I love Gordo's. But yeah, I'm on Instagram more than anything. There you go. Shots by Mateo. Thank you. Good Thank sir. you. Yeah, and then this guy's got to go film and shoot some more material. Till next time, guys. If you like this kind of content, subscribe, like, check out Alex. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.